Hi guys, um, so just the last bit of the video, um, I've gone back in when the canvas was drying, just put in some highlights and just some more detail. Again, it's just just to sort of finish it off a little bit. Um, so as you can see, just using a bit of white to go into the into the buildings, giving it a little bit more definition and things like that. Nothing amazing. Again, just trying to keep it all quick. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you how to do your your sort of cloud shapes and all you can do. You can use a, a brush or a sponge and you're just going to take, I'll do it with a sponge, um, just take your, your sponge or your brush, drag that down so you can see it, and you're just going to sort of just just dab it and again clouds is all sort of different shapes so there's no like right or wrong with this I'll do another one over there you might put one over coming from the corner good thing about doing it with a brush is you get like different textures each time um, so it's completely up to you how you do it. I'm just doing it with a sponge just because it's a lot sort of quicker. I put some in the background. So yeah, it's as easy as that really guys. Um, what you could do then is just sort of go back into it and maybe with a blue or like a really light blue, just sort of give it a bit more definition just around the edges, um, you know, underneath or sort of where it just starts getting a little bit bumpy along the top. Um, add in a bit more white if you want or some purple what whatever you want really um put some down here as well you have a low cloud there by the bridge and then you can just always go in with a brush And just sort of give it a little bit more definition. And there you go, guys. So hopefully you find that all uh, helpful and stuff. Again, no right or wrong when you're doing the clouds, just sort of dab it really if you're doing it with a brush you see you know, I just did it with a the brush then you just sort of dab it make it as big or as small sort of cloud shape as you want try not to just sort of do lines or whatever just like you know have a little bit of fun with your brush basically and just do whatever shape you want um what you can do as well is if you did do stuff on the water you just put down some color like that and then just sort of smear it with your finger if you want just gives it that sort of uh, blending effect but again yeah as I said just make sure that obviously with your character the main thing is is that you want him to be sort of dynamic you want your character to be jumping off of the off of the page you don't want it to look flat so try not to draw it so that they're just sort of square in the middle of your your canvas um just sort of stuck on not really doing anything remember those dynamic poses where we draw the stick man first we put the bendy line down um from the from the head and then down into the pelvis and get them into a position that you want that you think is going to look dynamic and you're comfortable with and then sort of work from there just start fleshing it out and everything um and yeah that that's really all all you need to do and hopefully uh you'll be happy with it when it's finished
and I look forward to seeing them all. So thanks a lot, guys. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing all your work. Thank you. Bye.